Welcome to Dr. ISO. Today we have a very interesting topic, organizational knowledge. This is the 7.1.6 clause of ISO 9001. Let's see what the standard is asking for. The standard is asking that organization shall determine the knowledge. The organization has to determine the knowledge. For what? For the necessary or for the operation in order to achieve the conformity of products and services. So this is the necessary knowledge for you to run your business. Now, the next step that the knowledge must be maintained and made available where to the extent necessary. Now, when you address the changing needs and trends, you not only need to consider the current knowledge and also need to address the necessary additional knowledge which you may need during the phase of operations. So what is an organizational knowledge? This is the knowledge specific to the organization. For what? In order to achieve the organization's objectives. So for you to achieve the objectives, you need to have some information, some knowledge specific to the organization. That is called organizational knowledge. Now, the knowledge can be both from internal sources and external sources. Now, let's see these two. What are the various internal sources? Number one, intellectual property. As you know, and being an organization, you have a lot of intellectual property. As an example, you are a manufacturer of a hard drive. So you have the technical specs of the hard drive. You have the material composition of the hard drive. So this is the intellectual property. You have people with the knowledge. This is the intellectual property. Knowledge gained from the experience. So as year passes, the, no the organization gains a lot of knowledge. This is used for future. Now, lessons learned from failures and successful projects. This is again linked to the experience. When you run an organization, naturally you will have failures. You will also have success. But through the failures and success, actually you are learning. What is this learning? It's a knowledge. Now, you both capture and share undocumented knowledge and experience also within the organization. As you know that many people, their experience are not recorded, but they are working in the organization. So you have that type of internal source for the knowledge. Of course, you do a lot of improvement processes for your products and services. This improvement process is a knowledge. So you can see there are various internal sources, also external sources. You follow mandatory or guidance standards. These are knowledge conferences. You attend both technical and non-technical conferences. Thereby, you bring knowledge to the organization. You also gather knowledge from your customers and external providers, which is something very important too. Now, once you have the knowledge, important is you being an organization, you need to identify what type of knowledge do I need have and what type of knowledge do I need to keep it retained within my organization. That can be from internal or it can be from external sources. Once you know, you need to make sure these are available at the point of use. And how do you update this knowledge? And how do you retain? So it has become a big challenge nowadays for an organization to first identify what type of knowledge do I have. The knowledge could be your designs, your processes, your people's knowledge, the standards, the experience. Now, where shall I keep? How shall I keep? Shall I keep it as procedures? Shall I keep it as data sheet? Shall I keep it in data media? Shall I keep it as pictures? Shall I, in which point shall I provide this knowledge for future use? Then comes, how frequently shall I update them? There are some knowledge with people. How shall I record or retain them? How long shall I retain this information? So, for the success of an organization, it is nowadays very important that you manage your knowledge by identifying, making it available, 
by updating and by retaining this knowledge. So I wish I could give some good information to you about the knowledge management, which is the one of the requirement of ISO 9001. But I'm sure this is a requirement of any organization to be successful. So thank you and always be in touch.